Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today on Senior Fitness with Meredith. So today's workout, we are doing the best go-to advanced superset workout. And what we will be doing in this workout and what we will be using are our dumbbells and our ankle weights. Remember, always optional to use the ankle weights, but they will add a lot to the movements that we will be doing. Super set, so almost like a HIIT workout. We're gonna do it for time, so I'm gonna have the timer on, and we're gonna do two movements. A lot of the times it will be opposing muscle groups. Sometimes we'll stay in the same muscle groups, but we're gonna have seven sets. They're gonna have two movements per set. Six of those sets we're doing three times through. Like I said, it's an advanced workout. Have multiple dumbbells if you have that, because different body parts I'm gonna be changing up what dumbbells I use. A couple of the movements we will sit down for, so have your sturdy, comfortable chair close by to sit in or to hold on to as well for some of those movements if we have any balance issues going on. And always have your water close by. So get everything together. Don't put your ankle weights on yet. We're gonna do a really quick warm up and then we'll put our ankle weights on and we'll get started. So get everything together. Meet me back here for this the best go-to advanced super set workout. I'll meet you back here. We're gonna get started. Welcome back. We're ready to get started. Like I said, no equipment holding on to it or wearing those ankle weights yet. Let's do a very, very quick warm up. So nice and tall, core is tight. We're just going to do a nice march just to get started. I just want the blood temperature to rise. I want us to get nice and warmed up before we get into our advanced workout. Always going at your pace and doing what feels best for you. Leg, legs are marching, big deep inhale, arms up and around. Exhale. One more time, big deep inhale, bring those arms up and around. Exhale, release them down. We're just gonna tap side to side, opening up those arms and closing them. Just loosen everything up. Inhale and exhale, slight bend in the knee joints, keeping those abdominals pulled in tight. Three, two, one more each way, then we'll just march again, a little shake out of those arms. Just do a couple shrugging up, releasing down. One more. All right. We're going to put on our ankle weights now, and then we're gonna have all of our different weights close by. So put your ankle weights on. Taking breaks when you feel necessary. We're going for 35 seconds and 12 seconds break. And a lot of that is because we might be sitting down then standing back up or switching weights. So in between each movement, so before we start, I'll tell you what our first two movements are. First one, if we're wearing those ankle weights, we're just using those. If you don't have ankle weights, you can always hold dumbbells. We're gonna do a knee raise, focusing on our quadricep. Then our second movement is a hamstring curl focusing on the back of our leg, our hamstring. We'll do right side, left side, then we're gonna alternate. All right, I'm gonna start our timer. We're going quick through this workout. That's why we're advanced. 12 seconds and then we start. Remember, have something to hold on to. That's why I said have that chair close by. I want you to maintain your proper form and alignment. Core is tight. Shoulders relaxed, lengthen the spine, bringing that right knee up. You can hover over the ground or just barely tap those toes down. That imaginary string right from the center of your thigh. <sighs> Want the quadricep to engage. No momentum. Don't make the hip flexor do all of the work. <sighs> Slight bend in that standing knee joint. Breathe with it. Little shake out of that standing leg, staying on right side for our hamstring curl. Flexing the foot, nice and lifted, bringing that foot up behind you, focusing on the back of your leg, your hamstring. Curl it back. 
Body stays nice and tall. Abdominals tight. <coughs> Again, that standing leg. Keep that slight bend in the knee joint. Don't lock it out. Doesn't help with the balance. Keep the core pulled in tight. Breathe with it. Little shake out of that standing leg. Those same two movements, round two, on our left side. Knee raised to start, so slight bend in that right knee. Body nice and tall, leading from that quadricep. <clears throat> Again, you can hover that foot over the ground or just barely tap it down. If you keep it hovered, you're keeping that muscle contraction on that quadricep the entire time. Don't let it have any rest. Nice and lifted and proud. Little shake out of that standing leg. It's gonna start to feel it even sooner because we've already worked that side. Now hamstring curl on our left side. Flex the foot, press through that heel, nice and tall. Knees stay next to one another as you bring the foot up and behind you, like you're trying to kick yourself. I want you to really feel the back of the leg engage. If you have those ankle weights on, you'll be able to feel it. Nice and tall, core tight, help with your balance. Little shake out. Now we're gonna alternate. One right knee raise, one left knee raise. Slow and controlled. Round three is alternating. Still focusing on quadriceps to lead that foot up off the ground. Great alternative to squats. If I ever do squats in a workout, those knee raises are perfect. Still focusing on leading from the quadricep. A little bit of glute movement, getting into hip flexors. Nice and tall. <coughs> and now, focusing on back of the legs with our alternating hamstring curls. Nice and lifted again, slow and controlled. Don't just throw the feet behind you. No momentum, focus on form, focus on the muscles that we're using. You can hold on to something if you feel like you're struggling to keep your balance. Lead from the heel, focus on the back of your leg. Good job, little shake out, little break, and I'll go over the next two movements that we're doing. Good job. <clears throat> next two movements, focusing on upper body. We're doing back and chest. So this is where I'm going to be using my chair. I'm going to sit in the chair when I'm doing the chest movements, but I'm gonna stand during my back movements. So first thing for our back, we're doing regular back pulls. We're gonna sit down, if you choose, to do regular chest press. Second round, back flies. I'm gonna go lighter in my dumbbells. Sit down, chest flies. Then our third time through, I'm standing again for back pulls, but I'm gonna add a little twist to it. Sitting back down, I'm gonna alternate my chest press. So I know it's a lot when I say it. It'll all make sense and I'll remind you as we go through, but chest and back. So knowing what weights you wanna use for that. I'm going to bring slightly lighter over by my chair. So when I go to do my chest, I'll have those ready. Lifting a little heavier for my regular back pulls. So I have those close by. So first thing, regular back pulls, seated, chest press. All right, there's your break. We're getting into it. 
12 seconds. Whatever weight feels best for you. Upper back, big muscle group. It can lift a little bit heavier. Nice stable base, shoulder distance apart, core tight, forward. Pull those weights up. Squeeze through the upper back. So focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together. You're hinged from the hips, keeping length in the spine. No curving. Exhale, inhale. <clears throat> I'm going to have a seat. Forward in the chair, leaning back, chest level. They're going to press straight up in front of you, right from your chest. Exhale, inhale. Exhale on that exertion. It's going to help you lift that weight. Focusing on front body. Good job. I'm using this lighter weight for my back flies. This is round two, back and chest. Nice stable base, forward. Palms stay facing in towards one another. We open up. Again, slow and control. You're still focusing on your upper back. So this isn't a side raise focusing on shoulders. This is a back fly. We're using those back muscles. Slow and controlled in both directions. A lot of time we can be slow lifting, but then gravity wants us to just drop those weights. Focus, form, both directions. Lifting, releasing. Good job. I'm sticking with these. Having that seat again. Leaning back, chest flies. So palms face in towards one another. Bend in the elbows. Open, squeeze, closed. So you can pretend like you have that beach ball in front of you. Arms are going around it, squeezing. Breathe with it. Keep length in the spine. Core stays pulled in. Good job. I'm putting these down. I'm going back to my heavier for our last time through back and chest. Those back pulls with that slight twist. Shoulder distance apart. Hinge forward. Twist up. Release down. If that feels like too much of a movement on either your bicep or your shoulder, just go to those regular back pulls. You don't have to add the twist. <clears throat> Focus on the upper back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Release them out. Good job. One more move in this set, back to chest, this time alternating our presses. So leaning back, just pressing right, left, straight from the chest. You can see my fingers are kind of wiggling off of my weights. A lot of times people say that they start to feel their fingers because they're holding those weights so tight. Certain movements you don't have to. My gravity's holding them in my hands. And release those down. I'm gonna reset the timer, little break. Good job, everyone. <coughs> Quick sip of water. And then our next two movements. 
Back to lower body. <clears throat> I'm gonna have my chair close by, just for balance purposes. So we're going to go onto the ball of our right foot, and then our left leg is gonna lead up. So right foot up, left leg kicks up. So focusing on that calf muscle, ankle of our right side, but then really focusing on that quadricep of our left. So we'll do that for our first thing. Up, up, and then I'm gonna bring my weights close by. We're going to do deadlifts. Focusing on right, then next time through left, then we'll do regulars, focusing on both sides together. All right, so I'm gonna bring my weights close by, but we're not using them for our first thing. Therefore, the deadlifts. <coughs> Again, big muscle group, focusing on our glutes and hamstrings. So you can go a little bit heavier, but always lift what feels best for you. I'm gonna start our timer. We have 12 seconds. Heel raise right side, left leg nice, slow and controlled leading up from that quadricep. Nice and tall. <sighs> Relax those shoulders down. So high up, lead up. So putting all of the focus on that right calf muscle. The other foot's just down, a little bit of balance for you. And then that left quadricep, with that straight leg, that longer lever. Good job picking up dumbbells, putting most of my focus on my right side, so all of my weights on right, light pressure on left, but both going down towards the floor. Hinge from your hips, nice flat back, Stand it back up. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Should feel the back of the right leg primarily as it helps assist you up with those dumbbells. Again, we've already worked hamstrings, so you might feel it immediately. Inhale, straight flat back. Exhale up tall. Dumbbells go down, other side. So now, left heel raise, right straight leg lift. Nice and tall, holding on for balance if you need it. So high up on the ball of the foot, straight leg lift. Again, go at your pace, focus on form. When we do things for time and not repetitions, really put the focus on the form that you're doing in that time allotted. Core tight. It's assisting with lifting that leg up and keeping you balanced. And then we'll pick those weights up. Deadlifts now, putting most of the focus onto the left foot onto the right ball of the foot, light pressure, still going straight down, hinging from the hips, back of the leg lifts you up. Inhale. <clears throat> Slight bend in that knee joint, don't lock it out. Again, length stays in the spine. Don't use the lower back to lead you up. The hamstring and gluteals. Good job. Third set, last set. This time we are doing just heel raises. So feet are shoulder distance apart, nice and tall, high onto the balls of both feet. Crown of the head straight up towards the sky. Don't lift those shoulders up as you go onto the balls of the feet. Keep them relaxed and down. If you have ankle weights on, you'll feel that added weight in those calf muscles, ankle joints strengthening, feet strengthening. Good 
Good job. Both dumbbells, regular deadlifts last time through. Feet shoulder distance apart, slight bend in both knee joints. Those dumbbells in front. Again, you're hinging from the hips. You're not bending at the waist. Inhale. Inhale, exhale up tall. Good job. Those dumbbells can go down. I'm resetting this, grab some water, quick break. We go back to upper body. <coughs> Biceps and triceps now. So biceps, front of the arm, triceps, back of the arm. Bicep curls, regular, either both working at the same time or alternating. First time through, tricep kickbacks. I'm going to be switching up my weights for that, so I'll do heavier and lighter. Second thing that we do for um, biceps are hammer curls, so palms stay facing in towards one another. But our tricep move is an overhead. If that is too much for the shoulders, <clears throat> then stick with your kickbacks. Otherwise, one dumbbell is going to do the overhead, right? Just an option. Again, we're doing advanced, so just an option, but do what feels best for you. Third time through, we're going to alternate and twist our bicep curls, and then we're going to alternate our kickbacks, all right? So making sure you know what dumbbells you're going to lift for all of that. I'm going to start the timer. Regular bicep curls. I'm going to alternate mine in 12 seconds. <coughs> Have that stable, sturdy base, shoulder distance apart. Nice and tall, core tight. Palms stay facing out. Keep the elbows close to the side of the body. If you feel like you're swinging your body to get the weight up, then it's too heavy. Go a little bit lighter. Lower body shouldn't have to move to get the upper body to work properly. The bicep muscles working to lift the weight. Keep the elbows nice and close so it doesn't go into the front of the shoulder. I'm putting those down. I'm going lighter for my kickbacks. Both are going to work at the same time. <clears throat> Chest is forward. Elbows nice and high. Focus on the back of the arms, the triceps. A lot of times we do these singly, all right and all left, just because... It is an awkward movement. If we don't have a mirror to look at ourselves, it's hard to tell where our body's moving in our space. So really focus. Elbows stay lifted. Forearm and weight press back. Back to biceps. This time, hammer curls. So palms stay facing in towards one another. I'm gonna stay with alternating again. So leading from your thumb, up to your shoulder. Still keeping elbow nice and close to the side of the body. Nice and tall. Bend in those knees. Core tight. Shoulders relaxed. Breathing. Exhale on that exertion. One dumbbell, if you're choosing to do the overhead, remember you can stay with the kickbacks or one dumbbell, both hands, straight up, nice and tall, don't curve the spine. Keeping the elbows close in, don't let them splay out.
Inhale, exhale, pressing that dumbbell up through gravity. That's your exertion. If it's too much, remember, go to those kickbacks. Good job. One more round, biceps, triceps. This time they're facing in. I'm gonna keep them facing in as I curl them up and twist towards the chest. and tall. Keep that slight bend in the knee joints. Base is going to help your form too. You can always do movement seated as well if it gets to be too much. And one more tricep move. I'm going to go back to my light. This time we're going to do kickbacks, but we're going to add a little twist at the top. So palms are facing in towards one another. As they press up, they pr press up towards the sky. It's getting more into that tricep muscle. We're not swinging, we're focusing on form. Good job, those can go down, taking a little break before we go back to, you guessed it, lower body. <laughs> and having that chair close by. So next movement, focusing on side body, back body this time. So we'll do a side leg raise, right side, back leg raise, right side, left side, then we'll alternate but it will be right side going side and back for time, then left side, side and back for time. Again, if you don't have ankle weights, you can always hold that dumbbell on the side thigh for your side leg raises and always having something to hold on to. All right. Quick sip of water for me and then we get started. <clears throat> Side leg raise, right side in 12 seconds. Slight bend in that standing knee joint. Nice and tall, core is tight. Body stays in alignment. We're not leaning to the side. Focusing on outer thigh, hip, and gluteal. Leading from your heel. So try not to let the toes point up towards the sky because then we just get right back into that hip flexor and groin. And you can tap the foot down in between if it gets to be a little too much, especially for the standing leg. We're keeping that muscle contraction, keeping it lifted. Good job, a little shake out, staying on right side for that back leg raise. So chest is gonna go slightly forward, focusing on your gluteals and your lower back. Make sure you have that space behind you. Straight leg presses back. That bend in that standing knee joint. Core pulled in. Good job, I'm gonna move my chair just so you can see me better. So now we do left side, side leg raise starts, leading from that heel, nice and tall, core is tight. Think hip, outer thigh, gluteal, Leg lift side. If you don't have ankle weights, put that dumbbell on the side. You can always up it if you even have ankle weights on and put that dumbbell on the side just to add even more weight. Keep that slight bend in the standing knee joint. The core tight, lengthen the spine. Nice and tall. 
know we're getting close to the end of the workout. We get fatigued. We lose our posture. Stay nice and proud and lifted. Little shake out. Back leg raise. Make sure you have that space. Chest is slightly forward. Bend in that right knee. Nice straight left leg. Really focus on the glute and lower back to lift that leg behind you. Slow and controlled. Don't just swing it back there. No momentum. <coughs> Little shake out. One more. Set right side. Doing those two movements. Side leg raise, back leg raise. Staying on right for those two movements. So side and back, side, and back. Again, keep that good form, keep that slight bend in the standing knee joint. Good job, other side. One more movement in this. I hope you can feel it, I can. Side and back, nice and tall. <sighs> Staying on that left side. Side and back. Hip outer thigh gluteal, lower back and glutes. Good job, little break. Whew. Give the lower body a little bit of a break. Grab some water, back to upper body. We only have two more sets. One is upper body, one is core. So upper body, next two things, we are focusing on shoulders. So first movement we're going to do, side raises, both working at the same time. So focus on what weight you're gonna use. I'm going to go lighter. So both working at the same time. Then we're going to alternate our front raises. Second time through, we're alternating our side raises. Then we're gonna work on rotator cuffs. Third time through, we're going to pulse our side raises. Yes, it's gonna feel great. And then a single dumbbell for our front raise. So again, upper body. We're going to start in 12 seconds. Focus on the weight that you're using. <clears throat> I'm going to go medium of my weights, both working at the same time. Relax those shoulders down, leading from the top of the shoulder, no higher than shoulder level, and no swinging. Again, if you feel like your lower body has to lift those weights up, they're too heavy. Focus on your form, not how heavy you can lift. <clears throat> Good job. Now we're going to alternate our front raises. You may need to go a little bit lighter. Small muscle group front of those shoulders. Can shoulders are relaxed, slight bend in the elbow, no higher than shoulder level or your gaze. Slow and control both directions. Lead from the shoulder, not the elbow, not the hand. <clears throat> a 
Good job. Second round, I'm going to stay with this weight. Choose what's best for you. We're alternating our side raises. So at our side, slight bend in the elbows. Relax your shoulders down. Right side, then left side. <clears throat> nice stable base. Keep the bend in the knee joints. Keep the abdominals tight. Good job, a little shake out. Rotator cuffs are next. Again, I'm gonna stick with this weight. My palms are facing up. My elbows stay glued to the side of the body. Those elbows are gonna stay there as we open our weights out, close back center. Good job, good job. I'm gonna put one of these down on my chair because I'm gonna use that for my last movement, but I'm going light for my side raise pulses. Relax the shoulders, keep the bend in the elbows, lifting up to the sides. As soon as it starts to feel like too much, release the arms down, go back up. Breathe with it. Almost there, almost there. Don't hold the breath. Good job. My one dumbbell for my single dumbbell front raise. Last movement in this set. Bend in the elbows, relax those shoulders down. Lifting it straight in front, releasing it. Yes, that dumbbell should feel like it weighs a ton. <laughs> Not swinging. Focus on your form. Good job. I'm going to set, turn that timer off, set my dumbbell down. We have one more set. And this last set, like I said in the beginning, if you remember, set seven is only done twice. We're focusing on core. So what we will be doing, one standing movement, one seated movement. Using one dumbbell of your choice, we're going to do side bends to our right. We're going to have a seat. We're going to do our regular sit-ups, holding onto our dumbbell, stand back up, side bends down to our left, finishing off seated with those sit-ups, and then a quick stretch. So we're almost there. One dumbbell, you maybe can go a little bit heavier, but it's up to you. Keeping length in the spine on those side bends, not bowing down to the side. Let's start in 12 seconds. <coughs> side bends down to the right side. Your hand can be on your hip by your side. You can up it a little bit by having the hand behind you. And the closer your feet are together, more of a balance challenge. So if you feel like you're focusing too much on balance, open up the feet a little bit or you can keep them closed. Good job having a seat. 
And we're sitting close to the edge. Feet are out, leaning back. Length stays in the spine. Dumbbell stays close to the body. Sit up nice and tall. Release back. You can hover over the back of the chair or your back and just barely tap it. Then sit back up nice and tall. Imaginary string right from the center of the belly. Almost there. Good job. One more round of those two movements. This time, our side bends down to our left side. Again, closer your feet are together, more of a balanced challenge. Hand behind the head, by your side or on your hip. Length is staying in the spine. So we're focusing on our obliques, the side of the waist. We're getting range of motion in the spine, and we're strengthening through our lower back. Good job, last movement. Our crunches towards the front of our seat, holding on to our dumbbell, leaning back, feet are out. They're not lifting off the ground, no momentum, no legs doing the work. Imaginary string, center of the belly. Feel the abdominals contract, lead you up, release you back. Good job, release that dumbbell down. I'm gonna turn this off really quick. Let's do a nice quick stretch. So nice and tall in our chair. Let's just twist it open to that right side. A nice deep spinal twist, should feel good. Big deep inhales, <sighs> big deep exhales. Bring the heart rate down nice and slow. Come back to center, interlace behind the back or on the back of the chair. Just get a nice big opening through the shoulders and chest. Release that, bring them in front, interlace, round and arch the spine, open up those shoulder blades. And release those down. Lengthen out through the right leg, slight bend in the knee, hinging forward. Nice stretch all the way down the back of the leg through the gluteals into your lower back. And roll it up nice and slow. Once you're sitting tall, I know we still have the ankle weights on. If you can lift the foot, just circle that foot around. Loosen up the ankle. Reverse it other way around. And other side, lengthen out through the left, slight bend in the knee, hinge forward, get a nice good stretch all the way down the back of the leg. Let's roll it up. Once you're sitting tall, lift that left foot up, circle around. And reverse the other way. And release that down, arms down by our side. Shrug those shoulders up with an inhale. Exhale, release two more times. One more. Circle around to the front, opening through the upper back. Get that good movement in those shoulders. One more and reverse it. Bring those circles to the back. Inhale, exhale, release those shoulder blades down the spine. Keep them there, hands onto your lap. Turn your head, look over your right shoulder. Those good stretches in the neck we always tend to neglect. Through center, other side. 
Head comes back to center, right ear releases towards the right shoulder. And then left ear towards the left shoulder. Head comes back up to center, chin down towards the chest, staying nice and tall, not leaning forward, getting a good stretch in the back of the neck and upper back. Now bring your gaze up towards the sky, gently releasing the head back, not leaning back, getting that good stretch and range of motion, front of the neck and upper chest. <coughs> bring the head back to center, arms down by your side, our three deep inhales and exhales. Inhale, length up and around. Exhale, release two more times. Big deep inhale and exhale. One more big deep inhale, length goes up. Exhale, release it all out because you did an amazing job completing the best go-to advanced superset workout, full body with dumbbells and ankle weights. I am so proud of you. I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to our next workout together.